Stay back of the white line. Well, it looks like it's finally here. Spring. Look at these babies. My high school history teacher used to say, ah, springtime. The time of year the boys start thinking about what the girls have been thinking about all year. I think he was talking about baseball. Not sure. Well, I got my got my second cataract done. I can see it in, just not up close. Yeah, I suppose you can tell by the fig tree behind me that it's been a while since I've uh, done a video. Social distancing. Yeah, isolation. My life hasn't changed much. I kind of live under a rock as it is. Anyway, I thought people might have a question. Why are you using that stupid gold claw gold pan? Well, I thought it looked interesting on the ads and I, it's lighter too, you know, you don't have quite so much in and regular gold panning, that's a bat killer. That's, that's harder than digging. Anyway, I thought a gold claw people send me a little sample. I thought we'd do a little test run where I can actually see the gold maybe. Alright. Open this package up. They're real nice people at Gold Claw. I can't remember their names but real friendly. Real prompt too. And they send you step in one of these adult proof packages there we go yeah extra snuffer bottle and a little jar to put all my big gold in if I ever get some and some dirt and there's supposed to be some gold in here now let's see what these people sent us Pretty coarse, whatever it is. I'm gonna look like pumice. Well, since this is just fine stuff, I'm just gonna use the smaller edge. Let's get this all. Oh yeah, I can just feel those nuggets in there. Interesting concept about these gold claws. You're supposed to be under the water when you do it. And shaking back and forth. And some of the principles, you really could just use a regular gold claw and a gold pan and do it. You know, I have a, a gold pan and three classifiers, you know, that fit in your pan or in a bucket. And I uh, went over to my shed to find those a while back. Nowhere to be seen. So. I'm in the market. I got to get a new, new gold pan. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what it does here. Keep shaking it. Keep classifying it. Keep that gold down to the bottom. Tip her down. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna put another pan underneath. See if I can catch anything that if I missed. I know Dan Hurd just did a whole series on gold pans. That was good, wasn't it? Very interesting, but you just so you're supposed to tip it down, you know, and you feel like you're 
you're gonna lose everything. <laughs> And maybe I am, but we'll see. There goes the rocks. I don't know if this is coming out on camera very good. Right, there we go. We're almost done. Let's see if there's any gold come back in here. Oh. Don't tell anybody, we got gold in the pan. There it is. They send you a smaller sampling pan too. I should probably grab that and it's got finer grooves and everything. But that is pretty good as far as, it really does catch the gold. Microscopic, it's really small. But, you know, it's more gold than I've been finding out in the river so far. <laughs> I have found some before, but it's been a while. Not since I've been doing videos. Can you see it? Oh, there it goes. You have the side grooves, too. I might just try that for a minute. It's all still experimental. I, I kind of like the pan. It's... It's different. You can't put a classifier on it, and you know it's not round. Have to rig up a separate classifier. But there's some things about it I like. I think part of the reason you got to keep it under the water, you don't have the water flow pushing it out so fast. You're just relying on gravity, basically, and the weight of the gold. I'm not sure. There you go. Can you see it? That, my friends, is real gold. Yep. A friend of mine said they used to stop on the way home, get an ice cream cone, and spend all their profits. But cool, it's pretty gold. It's really bright. So, uh, not very coarse, of course. But yeah. I mean, I, I'm kind of happy with the gold claw, actually, because, you know, you can't do as much you know classifying as much dirt processing it but gold pan and man you stand there in the creek or squat and man your back just killing you after a little while and this seems to seems to fit my personality pretty good and my back <laughs> fits that really well but yeah there's some gold in there gonna snuffer this up and start my big collection $1,700 an ounce. I probably got a tenth of a penny in there. Yeah, there's a piece floating. It's so small. I didn't put any soap in my water. Should have, I know. So anyway, gold claw does work. Like Dan said, though, you know, Dan heard, it's not just a matter of what you get. It's what you lose. I have to look through that other stuff and see if there's any that I missed. I'm gonna just pan this down a little more. See if I catch any more with just get rid of all the rocks. See what gets left behind. It's got these fine little grooves in there. It's really I was on the river, I noticed it really catches the black sand good. Yeah, look at that. See that? It did keep the gold behind way down here. One piece up towards the front. But yeah. So I am still going to get it a, you know, the Garrett Super Sluice. Might make my own classifiers this time, but pretty cool. See gold in your pan is always a, brightens your day. I wish I'd hadn't forgot to put a pan at the bottom down there so I could grab all that out real quick and see what's see what I missed.
really got these very fine fins here that really catch the small stuff pretty nice like there's a piece there still left over another thing you know they got the smaller smaller pan too I think it really be good for if you're hiking up some back creek you just want to do some sampling here and there and don't take a bunch of equipment with you pretty handy a little spendy of course, I anything of gold prospecting, and it's like they jacked the price up 50 times more than it should be, but I guess that's life in America. I can't hardly see this fine stuff with my, my new eyeballs, because I still have to get glasses for reading, you know. This, is, this microscopic gold, I'm surprised I could even see it. But yeah, thank you, Gold Claw. It does work. Just gotta get on the gold out in the out in the wilds. Anyway, thank you all for coming along. Hope you had fun. I know I did. Be sure and leave a comment. I love the comments, even if you don't subscribe or like it or share it. Leave a comment. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later.